search what is in the wrong area. We never have peace until we know where they are. We lost the left engine! Let go. We're losing power in the right! We lost the power! Grace. Ten. Grace for impact. Minimum. Three and a half decades ago, a mysterious aircraft disappeared without a trace, leaving unanswered questions. Now, an eerie revelation unfolds as the plane reappears, carrying a haunting cargo of 92 skeletons. This enigma triggers investigations into the long-lost flight, uncovering a chilling tale shrouded in secrecy and unanswered mysteries. Flight MS-804. In a chilling historical event, Egypt Air Flight MS-804 vanished over the Mediterranean Sea on May 19, 2016. The flight, en route from Cairo to Paris, carried 66 passengers and crew. Initially suspected as a terrorism casualty, it took a month to locate the wreckage. Contrary to Egyptian claims of explosive materials, French authorities revealed a fire had led to the crash. Black box data unveiled distressing details. Smoke detected, electronics affected, a 90-degree turn, and a mid-air breakup before plunging into the ocean. The search for remains involved international teams, with the full plane found underwater in June. But a 2022 investigation concluded that a pilot smoking caused the fire and crash. This incident, coupled with a Russian plane's downing over Sinai months earlier, reignited global security concerns and terrorism fears. The story of Flight MS-804 serves as a haunting reminder of the complexities surrounding air travel safety. The lost flight that reappeared with skeletons. The mysterious tale of Santiago Flight 513 has circulated in conspiracy circles for decades. Allegedly departing from Aiken, West Germany, in 1954 bound for Porto Alegre, Brazil, the flight reappeared on October 12, 1989, after an inexplicable 35-year absence. Without any communication with air traffic controllers, the aircraft circled Porto Alegre before successfully landing. Authorities, upon opening the doors, were met with a shocking discovery, the skeletal remains of 92 individuals strapped into their seats. Captain Miguel Victor Curie's skeletal body was found in the pilot's seat, hands on the controls, with the engine still running. However, it's crucial to note that this gripping account is a fictional creation by the infamous tabloid Weekly World News, bearing similarities to earlier speculative stories involving missing planes. There are no credible reports or evidence supporting the existence of Santiago Flight 513 or its bizarre landing with skeletons. Bermuda Triangle, Flight 19. The enigmatic tale of Flight 19 in the Bermuda Triangle captivates aviation history. On December 5, 1945, five TBM Avenger torpedo bombers embarked on a routine training flight, collectively known as Flight 19. Departing from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the triangular exercise took a mysterious turn. Led by Lieutenant Charles C. Taylor, the patrol encountered compass malfunctions, adverse weather, and disorientation. Convinced of being over the Gulf of Mexico, Taylor made critical navigational errors, leading the flight farther out to sea. Despite attempts to correct course, radio transmissions faded and Flight 19 ultimately vanished. Fuel depletion and the eerie buzz of static marked their last communication. The Bermuda Triangle's alleged involvement adds a layer of speculation to one of aviation's enduring mysteries, raising questions about compass failures, navigational challenges, and the unexplained disappearance of Flight 19. A plane that lost its engine. An alarming incident unfolded as passengers aboard Delta Airlines Flight 1425 experienced a harrowing engine malfunction. Traveling from Atlanta to Baltimore with 154 people, the aircraft encountered a terrifying moment when a nose cone appeared loose inside one of the engines, leading to a loud bang and cabin filled with smoke. Quick action by the flight crew prompted an emergency landing in North Carolina, ensuring the safety of all on board. Video footage captured by passengers revealed a metal part moving inside the engine with an ominous orange glow. Despite the intense moments, no injuries were reported and Delta confirmed a contained failure in one engine. The incident underscores the importance of vigilant response and crew expertise in handling unexpected challenges during air travel. A pilot in, a pilot out. 
A remarkable story unfolds as British Airways Flight 5390 faces an unprecedented crisis. On June 10, 1990, en route to Malaga, Spain, two cockpit windows explosively detached, causing a sudden decompression that resulted in the captain being violently sucked out of the cockpit. Captain Tim Lancaster's body, hanging outside the plane with only his legs inside, posed an immediate threat to the aircraft's safety. Despite the perilous situation, the crew demonstrated extraordinary teamwork. First Officer Alistair Acheson, battling gale force winds, struggled to regain control. The cabin crew, notably Mr. Ogden, intervened heroically, preventing further catastrophe by extracting the captain's legs from the controls. With collective efforts, the crew averted disaster, bringing the plane to a safe descent. This harrowing incident underscores the resilience and quick thinking of aviation professionals in the face of unexpected challenges. Stardust. The enigmatic tale of Stardust, a British South American Airlines BSAA flight disappearing on August 2, 1947, unfolds as the Lancastrian aircraft. A descendant of the Avro Lancaster bomber departed Buenos Aires for Santiago, Chile. A diverse group of passengers, including businessmen, a Palestinian with rumored diamonds, and a former tutor to Prince Michael of Romania boarded the flight, which never reached its destination. The final Morse code message, Stendek, added to the mystery. Over 50 years later, climbers discovered wreckage and human remains on Mount Tupungato in 1998, leading to a 2000 expedition unveiling the tragic finale. Captain Reginald Cook's navigational error, encountering a west-to-east jet stream, caused a slow ground speed and a fatal crash into the Andes. While some mysteries were resolved, the meaning of Stendek remains an enduring puzzle, contributing intrigue to Stardust's enigmatic journey. Angola Boeing 727 In 2003, the mysterious disappearance of a Boeing 727, 223 airliner, registered as N-844AA, unfolded at Quattro de Fevereiro Airport in Luanda, Angola. The aircraft, stolen by two individuals, Ben C. Padilla and John M. Mutantu, took off erratically, heading southwest over the Atlantic Ocean, and subsequently vanished. The plane, manufactured in 1975 and previously operated by American Airlines, had been grounded at the airport for over a year, accumulating unpaid fees. The United States Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, described it as unpainted silver with a blue and white stripe, configured to carry diesel fuel. Possible explanations for the disappearance include speculations about a crash in Africa, allegations of unlawful captivity, as well as theories involving business feuds and accounting fraud. Despite a worldwide search and reported sightings, the fate of the Boeing 727 and its two occupants remains an enduring aviation mystery. B-47 Stratojet The Boeing B-47 Stratojet, a retired American long-range strategic bomber, played a crucial role in the Cold War, designed for high subsonic speed and altitude to outmaneuver enemy interceptors. It originated from the 1943 USAAF requirement for a jet-powered reconnaissance bomber, evolving from Boeing's initial response, the Model 432. Inspired by German research, sweeping wings replaced the original design, leading to the development of the Model 448, which later matured into the Model 450. Encouraged by the USAAF, Boeing received an order for two prototypes designated XB-47 in April 1946. The XB-47 took its inaugural flight on December 17, 1947. Subsequently, the B-47 became operational with the USAF's Strategic Air Command in 1951, playing a vital role throughout the Cold War until its retirement in 1965. Beyond its strategic bomber role, the B-47 significantly influenced the development of modern jet airliners. Pan Am Flight 7 Pan Am Flight 7, an around-the-world journey, vanished mysteriously at sea, leaving unanswered questions about its fate. The aircraft, Pan Am ship number 944, registration N90944, a Boeing 377 Strato cruiser named Romance of the Skies, offered luxury with Pullman-style berths, spacious seats, and a cocktail lounge. On November 8, 1957, during its first leg from San Francisco to Honolulu, the routine check-in at 16, four marked the last contact with the aircraft. Despite no distress signals, the plane never reached Honolulu. The massive search uncovered debris 940 miles east of Honolulu, and 15 bodies were found in the water, 
some with stopped wristwatches at 1626. While the recovered wreckage displayed post-crash burn marks, the circumstances leading to the tragedy remain elusive. Theories range from onboard bombs and faulty propellers to a possible suicide or foul play involving a suspicious passenger with unusual insurance activities. The exact cause of the mysterious disappearance remains one of aviation's enduring enigmas, leaving numerous unanswered questions. A convertible plane, Aloha Airlines Flight 243, a scheduled journey between Hilo and Honolulu, Hawaii, turned into a harrowing experience on April 28, 1988. The Boeing 737-297 aircraft serving the flight suffered explosive decompression mid-air due to fuselage damage caused by inadequate maintenance and metal fatigue. Despite the severity, the skilled crew managed to safely land the plane at Kahului Airport on Maui. Lansing lost her life, being ejected from the aircraft, and 65 others suffered injuries. The incident left a lasting impact on aviation safety policies. The aircraft, with registration N7371, had accumulated over 35,000 flight hours and faced significant stress from nearly 90,000 flight cycles. The incident sparked improvements in aviation safety and procedures, emphasizing the importance of structural integrity and maintenance. The resilience displayed by the crew in the aircraft's safe landing underscored the significance of this incident in aviation history. Ghost on a Plane Over 50 years have passed since the tragic crash of Eastern Airlines Flight 401 in the Florida Everglades in December 1972. The Lockheed L-1011-1 Trister, en route from New York, JFK, to Miami, MIA, met a fateful end, claiming 101 lives, including Captain Robert Bob Loft and flight engineer Donald Don Repo. The Aviation Safety Network recounts the flight's uneventful journey until the fatal approach to Miami, where fixation on a faulty cockpit indication, unbeknownst disconnection of the autopilot, led to a disastrous descent. While 75 survived, eerie tales unfolded post-wreckage clearance. Reported sightings of Bob and Don emerged, manifesting in pilot uniforms, oven doors, and unexpected cockpit visits. Despite Eastern Airlines' denial of supernatural events, salvaged parts allegedly removed from Flight 401 marked the end of these mysterious apparitions. AER Lingus Flight 712 52 years have elapsed since Air Lingus Flight 712 plunged into the sea near Tusker Rock off County Wexford's coast, claiming all 61 lives on board. The ill-fated flight on March 24, 1968, involved a Vickers Viscount, registration EIAOM, named the St. Phelan. Departing from Cork Airport, ORK, for London Heathrow, LHR, the routine Irish sea hop faced harsh winter conditions. Speculation arose about a bird strike, possibly involving swans migrating to Iceland and Russia. While bird strike theories circulated, suspicions of a British missile downing the aircraft emerged. RAF station Aberporth's missile testing range along the Viscount's path led to conjectures of accidental targeting by the HMS Penelope. Weather-related causes were ruled out as the sunny day turned tragic after the 22-year-old co-pilot's cryptic last communication. Despite search challenges and limited resources, the Irish government's handling faced scrutiny leaving the truth behind Flight 712's demise shrouded in mystery. The flight that vanished without a trace. On January 30, 1979, at 2100 local time, a Boeing 707 bearing registration PP, VLU, operated by Varig, embarked on a fateful cargo flight from Tokyo to Rio de Janeiro via Los Angeles and Lima. With six crew members and a valuable cargo of 53 paintings by Manabu Mebe, the aircraft, manufactured in 1961, disappeared mysteriously. The last radio contact occurred at 2045 and approximately 15 minutes later. While cruising at altitude, the plane vanished from radar screens. Despite immediate search and rescue efforts by Japanese and American authorities, the wreckage and the six occupants were never found, leading to the suspension of operations after several days. The captain, Gilberto Araujo da Silva, had previously experienced a crash at Paris Orly Airport in 1973. The lack of evidence, including the absence of a distress call, suggests a potential cause of the accident as a sudden and accidental cabin decompression. Malaysian Flight MH370 Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, MH370, vanished without a trace on March 8, 2014, 
during its route from Kuala Lumpur International Airport to Beijing Capital International Airport. The Boeing 777-200ER, registered as 9M, MRO, lost contact with air traffic control over the South China Sea, deviating westward from its planned path over the Malay Peninsula and Andaman Sea. Although tracked by the military radar, it disappeared northwest of Penang Island, presumed dead with 227 passengers and 12 crew, MH370, remains one of the deadliest incidents involving a Boeing 777. The search spanned the South China Sea, Andaman Sea, and eventually the Southern Indian Ocean, becoming aviation's costliest quest. Debris confirmed to be from MH370 washed ashore, but the main wreckage remains elusive. Despite inconclusive reports and theories ranging from hypoxia events to hijacking, the mystery endures, leaving a legacy of safety recommendations to prevent a recurrence of this baffling disappearance. The Plane Without a Captain Helios Airways Flight 522, en route from Larnaca to Prague with an Athens layover, faced a tragic fate on August 14, 2005. Shortly after takeoff, air traffic control lost contact, and the Boeing 737, 300 named Olympia, crashed near Grammatico, Greece, claiming all 121 lives, Greece's deadliest aviation disaster. The Air Accident Investigation and Aviation Safety Board determined crew negligence, overlooking automatic pressurization during takeoff checks. This led to unpressurized conditions, causing generalized hypoxia among passengers and crew in what became a ghost flight. Legal actions followed against Helios Airways and Boeing. The aircraft, initially with DBA and later leased by Helios, marked a somber chapter in aviation history. Captain Hans Jurgen Merton and First Officer Pampos Charalambus, among the 92 skeletons, contributed 24,449 combined flight hours to the ill-fated journey. The aftermath included Helios Airways closure and regulatory changes to avert recurrence. Air France Flight 447 On June 1, 2009, Air France Flight 447 disappeared over the Atlantic, en route from Rio de Janeiro to Paris, crashing hundreds of miles off the Brazilian coast. The Airbus jet came to rest 3,900 meters below the ocean surface, amidst challenging seafloor terrain. The quest for answers led a Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution-led team to discover the wreckage on April 4, 2011. Resting nearly 2.5 miles deep, the plane's flight data and cockpit voice recorders held crucial clues for French investigators from the Bureau of Investigation and Analysis, BEA. This discovery unveiled the circumstances behind the crash, aiding in preventing future disasters. The undersea graveyard now holds the memories of 92 souls, and the investigation's findings reshaped aviation safety measures. Miraculous Landing On January 26, 1972, Ms. Vesna Vulovic, a flight attendant aboard Yugoslavensky Aerotransport, JAT Flight 367, experienced an unimaginable ordeal. While en route from Copenhagen to Zagreb aboard a McDonnell Douglas DC-932, the aircraft suffered a bombing over Srbska Kamenice, Czechoslovakia. The explosion shattered the plane, causing 19 individuals, including Ms. Vulovic, to plummet from the disintegrating cabin at 33,333 feet. Despite severe injuries, she miraculously survived the fall, which Guinness World Records recognized as the highest fall survived without a parachute in 1985. Ms. Vulovic spent 27 days in a coma with no memory of the incident and endured paralysis below her waist for months. Her astonishing story of resilience and survival remains etched in aviation history. Ms. Vesna Vulovic passed away on December 23, 2016, leaving a remarkable legacy of courage and endurance. Amelia Earhart's Plane Amelia Mary Earhart, a pioneering American aviator, disappeared without a trace during her attempt to circumnavigate the globe on July 2, 1937. Born on July 24, 1897, Earhart had already made history as the first female aviator to solo across the Atlantic Ocean and achieved numerous flying records. In 1937, piloting a Purdue-funded Lockheed Model 10E Electra with navigator Fred Noonan, Earhart embarked on her ambitious circumnavigation. Last seen in Leigh, New Guinea, the duo vanished over the Central Pacific near Howland Island, with their disappearance officially declared on January 5, 1939. The mystery surrounding their fate continues, captivating investigations and public interest over 80 years later. Despite the passage of time, 
Amelia Earhart's legacy endures, honored through various memorials, including celestial bodies named in her honor, highlighting her enduring impact on aviation history. A plane landed 37 years late. Pan Am Flight 914 widely circulated as an internet hoax, claims that a Douglas DC-4 mysteriously vanished in 1955 during a flight from New York City to Miami, only to reappear 30 years later near Caracas. According to this fictional narrative, the plane landed briefly and then took off again, ultimately reaching its original destination in Miami. The story, popularized in a 1985 Weekly World News article, resurfaced in 1993 and 1999, gaining attention in a 2019 YouTube video. With 60 passengers and six crew members on board, the tale suggests a fantastical journey through time via a wormhole. However, it's important to note that this narrative lacks credibility, originating from a tabloid known for false stories and lacking any support from press archives or Civil Aeronautics Board reports. The alleged incident finds no confirmation in the production lists for the DC-4, making it a fictional anomaly in aviation history. Egypt Air Flight 990 on October 31, 1999, Egypt Air Flight 990, a Boeing 767-300ER, took off from John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City, bound for Cairo, Egypt, with a stopover in Los Angeles. Tragically, the aircraft crashed into the Atlantic Ocean near Nantucket Island, Massachusetts, claiming the lives of all 217 passengers and crew on board. This marked Egypt Air's deadliest aviation disaster and the second deadliest involving a Boeing 767, surpassed only by Lauda Air Flight 004. Investigations by the National Transportation Safety Board and the Egyptian Civil Aviation Agency initially diverged. The NTSB suggested intentional actions by the relief first officer, while the ECAA pointed to mechanical failure in the elevator control system. The NTSB dismissed the latter, emphasizing intentional human acts. The flight's crew, including Captain Ahmed El Habashi and First Officer Adel Anwar, faced a tragic end, leaving behind grieving families and a complex investigation that continued for years. The crash deeply affected 203 passengers from seven countries, sparking international grief and scrutiny of aviation safety protocols. In the unsettling conclusion, the reappearance of the long-lost plane with 92 skeletons sparks more questions than answers. The mysterious circumstances surrounding its vanishing act remain shrouded, leaving investigators and curious minds in a realm of speculation. Subscribe for more intriguing tales. Thank you for delving into the enigmatic journey with us.